guys, I'm Ploy, and I'm supposed to tell you guys what happened last year in 2013. Hey, guys, Hi. I'm Elijah. About time you came. Sorry, I was busy with uh, no, never no, mind. No, 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 tell them. What? I, how was your 2013, everyone? Well, I went to this New Year's party, and there was... Well, I mean, I was just going to tell them there was a lot of lemonade. Jeez. Oh, okay. Okay, anyway, so 2013. Man, that was a long time ago. Well, let's see what happened. Way to start the New Year, guys. In January 1st, three people were injured and two people were killed in Sacramento during a New Year's Eve celebration. Oh, here's another one. Celebratory gunfire kills a four-year-old boy and more than 400 people were injured by powerful firecrackers during a rowdy New Year's celebration in the Philippines. Well, moving on from that, Ray Lewis, the former Baltimore Ravens linebacker, announced his retirement on January 2nd. M Malala Yousafzai, the Pakistani schoolgirl blogger shot by the Taliban in October of 2012, was discharged from the hospital in the UK on January 4th. Well, everyone loved Apple's maps, right? Well, on January 6th, application developers announced that they gave Apple plenty of warning of the many difficulties with the apps. In college football, the Crimson Tide beat the Fighting Irish in the 2013 BCS National Championship game. Manti Teo probably cried to his girlfriend. Oh, wait. It's a fake girlfriend. In depressing news slash shooting news, a gunman opened fire in a classroom at Taft Union High School at Taft, California. Af uh, he gunman surrendered after a te teacher told the gunman to put his gun down. In movie news, the film Argo wins awards for Best Drama and Best Director at the 70th Glo Golden Globe Awards. In effed up news, Tennessee Highway Patrol officer Michael Slagel is killed after his car hits an ice patch and crashes. And the responding fire truck hits the same ice patch and falls on top of the car. In protesting, on February 13th, a Tibetan monk set himself on fire in protest of the Chinese occupation of Tibet. In romantic murder news, on February 14th, Oscar Pistorius, the South African sprint runner, is charged with the murder of his girlfriend, Riva Steenkamp, who was shot dead at Pistorius' home in Pretoria. In Friday the 15th news, more than 1,200 people were, are killed in Chelyabinsk, Russia, when a meteor breaks up and shatters windows. In Lost Connor news, on February 25th, Scientists discover that they discover the lost kind of Rodinia in the Indian Ocean. Are they sure they haven't found Atlantis? And in baseball news, New York Yankees closer Mariano Rivera announces his retirement at the end of the 2013 season on March 9th. On March 13th, Pope Francis is announced as the first Latin American Pope and the first Jesuit Pope. In SEALs news, on March 29th, a U.S. Navy SEAL was killed in a training accident. In feel-good news... Eli Reimer becomes the first teenager with Down syndrome to climb Mount Everest. This is not an April Fool's joke. <laughs> Go ahead. April 8th, former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher dies at the age of 87 in London. In bombing news on April 15th, two explosions near the finish line of the Boston Marathon killed three people and 183 people were injured. In stock market crash news, the U.S. stock market undergoes a flash crash when the hacked Twitter feed of the Associated Press falsely tweets the several explosions have injured President Obama. In paradoxical news, on May 6th, U.S. Air Force Lieutenant Krasinski, who was in charge of the Office of Sexual Protection and Response, is charged with, anyone want to take a guess? Sexual assault. Oh, surprise, surprise. In Coca-Cola news, a man sells what he believes is a secret recipe for Coca-Cola on eBay for $15 million. In IRS gone bad news, the U.S. IRS admits that it has targeted certain conservative class classes for special scrutiny. Uh, seven, the next day, Stephen Miller, acting commissioner, resigns. In women's life news, a new study shows that white blood cell levels decrease faster in men, which explains why women have longer lifespans. Go, women! In sad office news, on May 16th, the American adaption of The Office airs its last episode on NBC after nine whole seasons. In whistleblower news, June 9th, Edward Snowden comes forward at the source for recent NSA leaks in the U.S. Then he flees to Hong Kong. On July 1st, the U.S. commemorated the 150th anniversary of Gettysburg. Edward Snowden also applies for political asylum in Russia. July 13th, George Zimmerman is found not guilty in the Trayvon Martin shooting trial. In drunk swimming news, John Morello chugged eight beers and swam all the way to Detroit from Canada. By the way, he made it. On August 1st, a raccoon runs off with a woman's pink wallet mm -hmm. while on vacation. 
The raccoon eventually dropped it off in the forest, and the woman made her son go get it. What a great mom. September 10th, Apple unveils the iPhone 5S and 5C. Eight days later, Apple unveils its new iOS 7 with an all-new interface. October, the United States government goes into shutdown. On October 21st, as soon as Sparks Middle School kills a teacher and injures uh, two other students before killing himself. Moving right along, November 1st, a gunman opens fire at LAX, killing a TSA employee and injuring several other people. Three days later, another gunman opens fire inside the Westfield Garden State Plaza at, in New Jersey. Later, he kills himself. November 8th, Typhoon Haiyan, one of the strongest tropical cyclones recorded to make landfall, hits the Philippines with confirmed three people dead. The numbers continued rising in the next day to 10,000 dead. November 13th, the official death toll is 2,500. Two days later, later the toll reaches 3,000. And we end the month of November with the death of Paul Walker, who was killed in a car accident after attending an event in Santa Clarita. December 5th, the South African leader Nelson Mandela dies of respiratory infection at the age of 95. Days later, people from all around the world come together to remember the great leader. Also, later on, we found that the guy who was doing sign language was just doing random hand gestures. On December 18th, a 75-year-old Frenchman gets the first artificial tra heart transplant in France. He is doing just fine. Christmas Eve, two astronauts at the ISS perform a rare Christmas Eve spacewalk. And to end 2013, Woo! actor James Avery, best known for his portrayal of Will Smith's uncle in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, dies at the age of 68. And just in from 2014, an Australian man was playing a game of hide-and-seek, and he hid in a washing machine. He was completely naked and drunk. He had to be freed with olive oil. Yeah. Oh, man. Great. That's great. So, anyways, that's all that happened in 2013. Well, mainly. And a wonderful preview of this coming up here. Yes, yeah, so, uh, we're done here, right? I think so. Hmm. Okay. So what about that party you went to? Oh, so, there were so many people who were just... <laughs>